All right, with this video, we're also going to show and demonstrate how an L8148 Aquastat controller is wired into a high efficiency gas fired boiler with an inducer motor. So we have to start off again with our basic safety switches, our breaker, emergency switch, firematic switch, and service switch. So each one of those circuits our switches are going to be wired in series with each other. So I'm going to come out of each one and then I'm going to come out of my service switch. I have to fire, I have to send power in two different directions here. I have to send power up to my Aquastat but I also have to send 120 volts down to my ignition module. Okay because this particular ignition module is a different uh, model where it needs its own power source in order for it to send out the 120 volts to uh, power up my inducer motor. So I'm going to do, I'm going to come out of my service switch, I'm going to come into my L1 for my Aquastat I'm also going to come down to my L1 on my ignition module. Okay, out of those two, I'm going to go back to neutral to complete that circuit. Okay, just like so. So those two are um, being powered. Okay, so out of my um, Aquastat, I got to power up my my thermostat. Remember, the thermostat is getting power from the transformer inside the uh, Aquastat. So I'm going to come out of my my TV here into my R out of my my W I'm going to come right back to my T just like that okay so that will complete the circuit so once the thermostat calls for for heat I have now completed the circuit with inside the aquastat which will then in turn send the signal out to the rest of my my components so that I can uh, start the, the heating process and domestic hot water. So remember now with a 8148 Aquastat, this is a possible triple Aquastat here. I got B1, B2, and B3. Okay, on these Aquastats, B1 and B2 is for millivolts, for millivolt gas valves and, and such. B1 and B3 would actually give me my 24 volts to power up my, my 24 volt gas valve and all that stuff. Those are my two terminals that I want to use in this application. I don't want to use my millivolt. So I'm going to use my B1. B1 is going to come out. I want to go to my TH. Okay. My TR, I'm just going to simply use yeah, out of my TR, I'm going to come back out, and I'm going to power up my B3. That's my 24 volt circuit that's now communicating with my my thermostat right there. Once that guy calls, it's going to send the signal down to my ignition module, my 24 volts, which will now again turn in my ignition sequence for the rest of my circuit. Okay, so let's take care of my inducer motor here. My inducer motor is just simply going to get 120 volts. Just like so.
Okay, because now remember, my 120 is now powering up because I'm getting my 120 volts from here, which can now send power out to my ignition, my inducer motor through my ignition module. Okay, so now let's take care of the rest of the igniter, ignition module. I'm going to say for my igniter, I'm just going to run power right to my igniter. there. My sensor. Uh, let's use, here we'll use a darker, yeah, we'll use that color. Here, here's my sensor. Okay. Here's my flame sensor. And then I just got to take care of my gas valve, my PV, MV, and PV, MV. That's relatively simple. We, so we're just going to take, and I'm going to use my PV. Okay. My MV. And I'm just going to come right back to my PV MV. Remember, PV MV is my common on my, com on my gas valve. My ignition module is now completely wired. I am I'm ready to go. The only thing that I have left to do in this particular diagram is my circulator, and that is my C1 and my C2. So here's C1. Here's C2. And I have now completely wired this type of circuit. So sequence of operation of this is obviously all of my safeties have to be closed. My breaker, my emergency switch, automatic switch, and my service switch at the actual boiler itself all have to be closed in order for me to receive power to my aquastat. Once the thermostat calls for heat, I am now going to send that signal down to my ignition module to my TR and TH which will now send the signal out to my inducer motor. My inducer motor will now start to spin so that I can clear out the flue pipe and combustion chamber inside the boiler of any toxic and possibly explosive gases that may still be sitting in there from the last ignition sequence. Uh, once that happens and everything is proved, the only thing that is not in this diagram would probably be like a vent pressure switch of some sort to prove that the vent motor, inducer motor, didn't start to spin and is in fact clear. But once that happens, I am now going to send my signal out to my igniter at my pilot valve to ignite my pilot. My flame sensor will then sense that the pilot lit, and then the ignition module will now send the signal out to the main valve on the gas valve to ignite my main burners. Once the boiler starts to heat up at approximately about 160 degrees or so, my circulator will then turn on, delivering my heat, my nice hot water to my, my space so that I can have some heating. And that's how you wire an L8148 Aquastat with an ignition module and inducer blower.